for the video. Today we're going to the festival of enterprise where we're going to be getting up to some networking, bunch of business stuff. And um, we're heading to the NEC now, it's 10.49 and we're about to get on the shuttle bus. So yeah, that's the day today. Do I continue learning? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I stopped learning. I 
that's 26. My first company was 13. I've uh, been doing it to this day. I didn't stop education at any rate. I was 26. I had businesses all the way up on the side. Uh, I can not cope. I was finally all quite doing stuff, selling stuff. I can cope. 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 And you will learn. And you will learn. And, and, and don't, two things I would say is manage your time so you don't play for it. And also, do this. But I've always liked a fixed cost. To be an entrepreneur, fixed cost will kill your business. When you're young, personal fixed cost will kill your business. You all want a big watch, a nice car, flat the car for you. Don't do it. Personal. If you take this, the final point of this, if you dabble the future, this is. Take this when you're young. When you get to our age and you've got yeah. partners, kids, yeah. obligations, it can be hard sometimes to take this. When you're young, absorb it. Take this. That's a lot more. I don't know if we've got time for that question. But I, yeah, I just wanted to ask, how did you get into speaking? Because I want to go on to the amount of Popularity. Yeah, that's fine. You've got to think about. Um, it's like selling in the business, so you don't think, what, what's your profile? I've got a TV, it's like, ah, oh, it's not. But for you, then, what's my profile? What exactly I talk about? What can I value people's lives? What does someone want to listen to? They're probably standing up, telling my life skills. Now, if you've got a troubled one, you've got to become an obstacle, maybe. But think about what it is you can sell to an audience, they're going to listen to you. And here, my talk today, yeah. it's not really motivation. My talk's about, VAT and operational, mm-hmm. it's quite tactical. That's what I've chosen to do. Because there's enough motivational stuff out there. I decided to be practical. So when you leave here today, hopefully, if there's one thing you take away, it helps you start a business. I've done my job. I think yeah. about what it is you can offer to an audience. Go on social media, and again, start small. Local, school, college, rotary club, chamber of commerce, mm-hmm. and get it on social media. And then probably all be free or and see where it goes. But to start small and break, everyone's in a rush. Yeah. 15, because I'm only 15.
Bristol. They have stadiums where you can go and watch Not 10, not 20, not 100. It's not thousands of people arranged in these two platforms. We've got cheap in the team. If you have a chance, a lot of their tickets will be free to try and get people to come. Please go and see them in the full driveway. It's an amazing, amazing thing. What's the best bit? <laughs> yeah, very proud. Very, very proud. Thank you. Alright guys, so today has been a really good day so far. We've talked to Piers Linney, as you guys saw, we got to know a little bit about him. We talked to him a little bit about investment, done a lot of networking, spoke to some guys from the Prince's Trust, uh, got to know a few guys from there about public speaking and stuff like that. And now what we're going to be going doing is watching Camilla speak, who was actually on The Apprentice last year, 2018, and she's going to be speaking about her brand, so that's going to be hopefully very exciting. So, um, Snow White syndrome is basically Snow White sits around, lies in a glass cabinet, waiting to be saved by the prince. Um, and it's basically saying, don't be Snow White. So, yeah, another book that I've read, which I really recommend, because I do get asked quite a lot which books are going to really challenge your thinking me methods, and that's from Good to Great. And it's basically one of the key things that I took away from it was to be a hedgehog, not a fox. So for ages, I will have, hold my hands up, I was a bit of a fox. And by that I mean, the fox is something that does a lot of things, but they do it mediocre. So they don't have much focus. They're trying to do everything at once, so nothing gets done very well. Um, you know, it's good, but it's not great. Um, and I, at the start, I was like, that's a good, good business idea, let me do that. I'd buy the domain name, I'd set up the Instagram. So I had so many ideas, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but what I realised after reading this book is you have to be focused on the one thing um, and then later on you can do these other things. It doesn't mean you can never do them. Um, and the hedgehog focuses on one thing, so protecting itself in the case of the hedgehog and it does that really well. Um, so I've definitely tried to morph into being a little bit of a hedgehog, saying no to projects that, that aren't going to grow my business. day one i'm back tomorrow but you guys aren't going to see that so thank you for watching the video it's been much appreciated hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a little bit about what i get up to at these events networking all that good stuff but if you did enjoy smash the like button and subscribe down below for a bit more entrepreneurial content from me thank you for watching Boom. <laughs>